Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We have dining reservations at the Hollywood and Vine because it recently switched over to the Holiday Dine and we're going to be able to see Santa Goofy and Mickey Mouse dressed up in his holiday best but also the Red Carpet Dreams meet and greet with Minnie recently reopened and I wanted to come out and check it out. Anywho's, let's go do this. It being the holiday week, it is super busy in the parks the past couple days. No annual pass holder reservations. I got lucky today and I grabbed one in the afternoon so I was able to come out. And the wait times are super long. Sometimes when I'm sitting at home trying to plan out my day, I look at the wait times to see how long they were. Earlier this morning around 10, 11 a.m., Toy Story Midway Mania was like 80 minutes. Uh, Tower of Terror was 80 minutes. So it was a very, very busy day. And hopefully by the time we see Minnie and also have some Din Din, maybe the wait times will go down and we can ride some rides. This is where we have reservations in a little bit, and it's Minnie's Holiday Dine uh, here at the Hollywood and Vine, and they do a seasonal like uh, character dining where all the characters dress up in like their seasonal outfits. Right now it's the holiday, so they're in their Christmas best, and like I said, Santa Goofy's here. They also have Halloween, springtime, and summer, but this is my favorite. The Hollywood and Vine used to be a buffet, and it hasn't switched back yet. I think it's still uh, all you care to enjoy per entree. So you pick one entree, and then you can have as much as you like. And we'll go over the menu and the pricing once we get in there. Now I want to head down and I want to see Minnie at the Red Carpet Dreams, because the wait time didn't look too long for that one. Here is a look at some of the wait times. Rise of the Resistance is a 120 minute wait. Slinky Dog Dash is a 110 minute wait. Rock and Roller Coaster, 90 minutes. Tower of Terror, 90 minutes. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, 85 minutes. Very, very busy. As you can see by those wait times, it is super, super busy. So when I seen the wait time for Minnie's meet and greet, I was like, we need to go now. Right here is the red carpet dreams and look at that only 25 minutes. So that is perfect And we're gonna be able to meet Minnie inside so we're gonna meet Minnie twice today in two different outfits, too You used to be able to meet Mickey and Minnie here But Mickey is actually doing meet and greets over at Town Square at Magic Kingdom And I also hear tell that he's back in Epcot. So that's really awesome as for Minnie I think this is the only spot where you can actually come stand in line and actually see her instead of like having a character sighting. This used to be one of my favorite places to meet Mickey because he was dressed up as a sorcerer's apprentice, but he's no longer here like I said. It's just Minnie and she's the star of the show. And there she is. Hello Minnie, how are you? Very well. Nice! I wanted to come over and say hi because we're going to actually go over to the Hollywood and Vine for the holiday dine. When you're done here, I can't wait to see you uh, in your Christmas outfit. That's going to be nice. But this right here, you look beautiful. This is a beautiful dress. I love it. And I like your hat too. Is, is your hat match your umbrella? Oh yeah, it's very nice. Oh, it's so amazing. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in a little bit. Happy holidays. As we leave, we actually get to walk down this hallway that's just full of awesome movie posters. I love this. Isn't it so beautiful? This reminds me of Hollywood Studios right here, like the good old days. MGM Studios, Galaxy of Stars. Look at Pete up there. So, so cool. And I think we're going to actually come through the Sorcerer Mickey. Oh, oh there it is. Kind of miss it right here. This is one of my favorite spots. That is so awesome. I love being inside that whole entire red carpet dreams. I really wish we could see Sorcerer Mickey again because that was, like I said, one of my favorite meet and greets. And it was great to see Minnie. She was fantastic. It's so nice of her to actually meet up with people before she gets ready for the holiday dime, which should be starting actually very soon. Look at these crowds as we actually navigate our way back over to Echo Lake. It's never really this crowded over here. 
Looks like we just got the text that our table is actually ready for the holiday dine. So I'm excited to head on over there and get some food. They do have like a turkey dinner. And since Thanksgiving's right around the corner, that might be a good, you know, option. Even though maybe I want to save the turkey because I have somewhere really special that we're actually going to go for Thanksgiving that I'm, I'm excited to share with you guys. So I don't know. It's going to be a toss up on what I'm going to get. I'm also not too sure how late we're going to be here today, but I'd love to stick around and see the season's greetings on the Tower of Terror because last time we were here that officially didn't start it and now it's all holiday mode. Hollywood Studios is 100% in the holidays. Our table is ready and here is the tree that they have inside. You got to have a Christmas tree, especially during the holiday dine. I like how it has little elves on them. That is so cute. And then they have a nice little mini's holiday dine like photo opportunities as soon as you walk in. But right here is my table and you can see right over here, this is where the characters come out and they do like a little dance and everything like that. So we're going to be able to stand up and actually get a good view. And plus we get greeted by Minnie immediately. Look at that. She already switched over to her dress. Oh. Hi, how are you? Oh, thank you. Awesome. Now let's take a look at the menu and the characters will actually be out and about more as we're sitting here and I think they alternate so like Mickey and Minnie were out when we walked in and then you got Santa Goofy and I think Pluto comes out. I'm not too sure who the other one is and they kind of just alternate and then every once in a while they have like a uh, separate little dance that they do and I like hearing the Christmas music. The atmosphere in here is always fun. Here is a look at the menu. It is $55 per adult and $36 per child. And you basically pick from the entrees that they have. They have a uh, sliced beef tenderloin. They have the turkey, the macaroni and cheese with shrimp, spice ribbed pork loin. They have a salmon and then they have a asparagus truffle risotto, which all sounds actually pretty good. And it comes with uh, a nice salad to start off with. And then you get a choice of dessert. And they always have pretty cool desserts. After talking it over with my server, I think we're gonna go with the filet because we're gonna have a lot of turkey coming up soon. But I do love the stuffing here, so she's gonna swap out the sides for me. So I'm gonna get a little stuffing, a little bit of mashed potatoes, and a little bit of uh, filet all together. I'm excited, it's a good meal, and we're gonna hold off on the turkey until Thanksgiving. Before our entree comes, they give you a little bread service, and I like these rolls. They're nice. They're just kind of like regular dinner rolls that you actually find in a lot of uh, restaurants here at Walt Disney World. And then they give you a fancy little salad, and because I'm dining by myself, they give me like smaller portions, but everything is all you care to enjoy. I have eaten here at Hollywood Vine many of times in the past, so I've done a lot of different dining reviews, actually probably on every single entree. So I'm not gonna focus too much on the food. I wanna more or less enjoy the characters and the dancing and stuff like that. But I wanna show off a little bit of the bread to give you an idea of how like soft and flaky it is. I love this bread. It is really good. Like I said, they kind of sell it at multiple sit-down restaurants and it's always a, it's always a winner. <laughs> Also, I like the uh, croutons for the salads here because it is like a cornbread stuffing or cornbread crouton, I feel like. You know, they have the cornbread stuffing. I feel like it's almost the same. Like, it's so, so good. Dare I even say some of the best croutons on property? Like, I really feel that way. Please give a ho ho hello to Goofy and Pluto. I like how they give a big announcement to let you know who's coming out next and it's going to be Santa Goofy and Pluto and I can't wait to see Pluto in his little holiday vest. It's always adorable. Pluto is one of my favorite characters and also Goofy. Goofy is the number one spot for me. As we were waiting for the characters, our food came out and take a look at this. Doesn't that look so beautiful? I asked for the stuffing and they gave me the stuffing because it normally comes with the mashed potatoes and green beans, but I just love this stuff so good. And the beef looks so amazing. I cannot wait to dive into it, but we gotta wait because you know, Santa's on the prowl here. So I wanna catch Santa Goofy. There's Pluto right there. And look, he's got little antlers too. 
I love it. Hey, you pal. I love your uh, whiskers there. They're very springy. Oh, look at that. And then you got a little peppermint uh, dog collar chain there. Oh, look at that. Gracie would like that. That's so awesome. <laughs> I love Pluto so much. You see how he, he sprung his whiskers? They're so springy. He was like, bing. <laughs> okay, we gotta act quick, because like I said, Santa's on the prowl, but let's cut on into this steak. I like it. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. <gasps> there he is! Oh, look at that bad boy, and you can see all the cracked pepper on there. I got a little bit of mashed potato in there, but we're gonna have to get the all together in one bite. But I'm excited for this. I mean, like I said, I would've liked to get the turkey. I do like to get the turkey, but Thanksgiving's right around the corner, so a little beef for today. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he is the best. To Mitty's Holiday Dive at Hollywood and Vine. Do you hear what I hear? Christmas bells are about to be ringing. Remember to stay seated. I got so wrapped up in the characters, I forgot to show you all the food. It was all gone now, but I could get more if I wanted to. I think I'm gonna hold off though, because like it's all you care to enjoy. So you can keep on reordering this as much as you want. Uh, but I'm a little full already and it's early in the day, so we're not gonna wanna get totally full and then go run around Hollywood Studios. And there's Mickey Mouse dressed in his holiday best. Doesn't he look so handsome? I think this is the only time you can actually get a photo with Mickey dressed in his holiday vest. Well, thank you, sir. I love your shirt. I love your coat. Very fancy. <laughs> oh, too good. Thank you. Oh, there's Minnie. She's back again. Look at that. You look fantastic. We just saw you at Red Carpet Dreams, and then you hopped over here. Yeah. And you were wearing your dress, and now you're switching to the holiday dress. It looks great. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you, Minnie. You're the best. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I feel like it's all about Minnie today. Look at her. She is so amazing. And he, if you don't know, it's Minnie's Hollywood like seasonal dime. Minnie's seasonal dime. And she is the best. Honestly. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> Look at her just dancing around. <laughs> now it's time for dessert. This is all included in the price. And normally they have the same desserts all the time, but because of the holiday dine, they have seasonal desserts, and I'm so excited to show you them. Now these are only available for the holiday dine, and they have apple pie and pumpkin pie, which is fitting for the holidays. And I got them both to show you because these aren't something you can normally get here during the other seasonal dines. First, I think we're gonna try the apple pie. I do love me some good apple pie. And I'm gonna get a little of the whipped cream and then a little bit of the upper crust. The upper crust. <laughs> upper crust just sounds very fancy. The fancy upper crust. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna give it a go. Oh yeah. I knew I was gonna like that the second I saw it. That is some good apple pie. Now we're gonna try the pumpkin pie. Get a little whipped cream with that as well. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the apple pie the most, but I'm gonna give the pumpkin pie a try anyway. Oh, that's good too. Really gets me excited for Thanksgiving. I think I like the apple pie a little bit more though. Apple pie is just so good to me. I just love it. Now we're all finished up and they give you a nice little mini seasonal dine Christmas card and it has all of the character signatures on it. And I love this. This is so cute, isn't it? Nice little uh, keepsake that you can have and enjoy. And it comes with it. It's free, you know? 
That was so, so good. I love coming to Hollywood and Vine every single seasonal, like, dine that they have. I'll be back. I think the next one will be springtime, and then summer, then Halloween, then holiday again. And I asked, and the apple pie and pumpkin pie is actually only for this week, for Thanksgiving week, and then it might be back for Christmas week. Also, I found out that the, uh, 50s Primetime Cafe is doing a special Thanksgiving dinner uh, for Thanksgiving Day and I think this upcoming week that we're actually in. So that's really nifty to know. They didn't do that last year or the year before, but uh, it's nice to see like regular things coming back. You know what I mean? Last year, there was hardly any Thanksgiving dinner meals on property, like other than their regular menu, but I've seen a couple of them and the one that I'm going to, it's actually a special one. So I'm super excited for that. I also want to point out that all of the cast members at Hollywood and Vine are so awesome. I love coming in there and I've gotten to know a couple of them and they're really, really great. And I just love the service in there and the characters are amazing and it's one of my favorite places. Now I think we're going to head down to Batu and walk around uh, Galaxy's Edge for a little bit. Oh boy, look at this. This is giving me opening day vibes right now. Look at the queue, it's all the way outside here. The queue to actually ride Rise of the Resistance is in Grand Avenue. That is something else there. Look at that. That is a long, long wait right there. I'm not too sure what the wait time is. I know earlier it was like 120 minutes, but I wonder what it is right now. This is standby. Luckily, I was able to get a lightning lane, and this is the line for the lightning lane. Like, it's going all the way in here. So, we're going to probably have a good 30-minute wait just for the lightning lane. I can only imagine how long it would take on the other side, though. Looks like the attraction went down, so we're kind of uh, stuck inside the corridors here. After being stuck at Rise of the Resistance for, I'd say, a good hour, maybe, they gave us a return time to actually come back. Looks like the ride isn't opening up for a while. So. Incoming transmission from right. Ha <laughs> 
Your escape pods came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. And we finally got on Rise of the Resistance. Let me tell you, that ride is going through so much hustle and bustle and work today. It went down three times. People were saying they waited in line for four hours and some people got like multiple recovery times because when it first went down, they were stuck in the queue. So they gave them a you know recovery pass to come back and ride. And then when they came back to ride, it went down again. So they got another recovery pass. And I actually waited in line, got the lightning lane. I stayed put and now it's dark out, it's dark. Like, how crazy is that? Now that it's dark out, I think we need to come over and visit Toy Story Land because it is so beautiful over here. And even though, like, these Christmas decorations or these lights are all year round, I still love seeing it at night. And I think we're gonna ride Slinky Dog Dash. In fact, here comes Slinky Dog Dash. <laughs> This is also posted at a hundred minute wait. Ooh, look at, look at Slinky go! <laughs> I do have to say, Slinky Dog Dash hits a lot different at night though. It's like a whole new experience. I love it. Oh, there it is. Our chariot awaits. There we go. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> what? What? Slinky Dog Dash just always puts me in a good mood. And now I think we're just gonna walk around the rest of the park and check out some of the Christmas decorations. I actually haven't been here at night for Christmas when everything's all lit up and the Christmas music's playing. And it is just beautiful, look at this. Oh look, and they've got tons of photo pass photographers over here and nobody's uh, actually waiting to get their photo taken. I know that they're doing the sunshine season greetings, which is the projection show on the Tower of Terror, like kind of like the Christmas projection show, but I don't know if they're making it snope anymore, so I think we're gonna go down there and hang out for a little bit and see if anything happens. Looks like they're just about to switch over to the Toy Story one, so we got here just in time. Look at that. I love seeing the lights too. I think this is the Muppets one. It is!
on it. I'm happy now. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So amazing. Honestly, that's all I cared about was a little snow pier on this wonderful Hollywood Studios day. And it actually feels cold enough that it could be snowing out. I think uh, the temperature outside right now is in the 40s. I mean, I think. I have to check, but I'm pretty sure. So I guess with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun, fun evening. I can't believe how dark it's getting. Like it's getting dark so quick now and the temperature is dropping. Like I said, I think it's in the 50s or 40s. Nice little chilly night at Hollywood Studios, but I had a fun evening. Came out, grabbed some dinner, got to see Minnie in her red carpet dress. And then also all of my favorite characters in their holiday dresses or is Santa Goofy. And uh, yeah, just got to ride some rides. Very busy day the holidays are always busy but it's not like something we weren't expecting you know what I mean it's always busy and it's gonna be busy for the next month because December is one of the busiest months in Disney World because of all the holidays and vacations and it's honestly a wonderful time to come because it's so beautiful out but you have to kind of like go beautiful and also crowds you know what I mean bigger crowds but a lot more things to do anywho's I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time Bye! I want to point out some of the cool Christmas like merchandise that they put out. I've seen the Santa Paws before, but I've never seen this Slinky Dog Sweater Wetter sweater. Like, that is awesome, isn't it? I have never seen this before. I love it. I think it's for the ladies, but it is so cool.